In one of my previous videos, I talked about why I switched from the Zhuan Smooth 4 to the DJI Osmo Mobile 4 gimbal. Now, one of the reasons, or the biggest reason, really, was the fact that on the Zhuan Smooth 4 and many other gimbals, the motor here obstructs the microphone port and the charging port, or in the case of the, uh, the iPhone, the lightning port which means you can't plug in a microphone, you can't charge it, plug in a charging cable or anything like that. Now, there was a solution to um, this problem with the Zhuan Smooth 4 and I did make a video for that a while back, so I'll put a link to that up here if you do have a Zhuan Smooth 4. But, the reason I switched for, to the Osmo Mobile 4 was because DJI came up with an ingenious solution. Quite simply, they moved the motor back so it no longer obstructs the the lightning port or the microphone port. So now we don't have this problem which is fantastic. Now in the last video I did I also showed you how you could attach a microphone using a clamp around here and also how you can still attach a microphone here. Now you can attach a microphone here and have it facing this way which uh, I'll show you now as I showed you in my previous video. There we go. But you can't have it facing that way, so that's a problem. So if you actually want to video somebody, that's a problem. But you can have it facing this way. But, but the problem that I encountered was that the weight of the microphone would cause the gimbal to become a bit unbalanced. Now I showed you in the video how you could uh, move the phone along a bit just to counter the balance or counter the extra weight to overcome this. But even then when you've got it on and you're using it you do have to be very very careful and not move a lot. So if you are moving a lot then this gives you also another problem. So in this video I'm going to show you an even better solution to this. So the solution is in this nifty little bag here. It's cool, it's tiny isn't it? Yeah. It's a wireless lapel microphone and it's also not that expensive. I picked this up for about 40 pounds, I think, 45 pounds. I'll put the exact price up here in a minute. And all it is, is this tiny little piece here and this little piece here that clips on here. So this is really, really simple and it's super lightweight. All we do is plug it in Clip. There you go. And it's so light, it doesn't affect the gimbal at all. Perfect smoothness. No balance warning lights. Uh, previously, I'll show you again from the previous footage that when I put the big microphone on there, I started getting this uh, warning sign up in the DJI app that there was an uh, imbalance in the gimbal. This is as smooth as anything. And it's very, very simple to operate. You just simply plug this in and your lapelier here, you press a little button on the back here. And when the green light's on, when the green light's on, now when I'm talking, you can see that the microphone is now working perfectly. And all I do is Clip it on here, and now if I turn this this way, I'll now start recording on my gimbal, and now you can see I'm now speaking to the gimbal through the microphone, and you can see that everything is nice and smooth. We're going to walk off down the hill here, and you can see that the gimbal is still nice and smooth. There's no imbalance at all. This this uh, attachment to the side weighs hardly anything at all. It's fantastic. And uh, it's working beautifully. So it's a fantastic option, I think, and a fantastic solution. And it's also not that expensive either. Now, I looked at several on Amazon, and this particular one I'm using here is called the Moman. Now, I have no idea what that is, I've never heard of them before. I found several different types and they all got pretty good reviews. 
you know i mean obviously it's 40 50 pounds you know it's a fair bit of money but when you compare to some of the more professional ones like the um like the road one for example you're looking at 200 pound for that but the question is do you really need a super high-tech professional wireless microphone or do you need, need something basic like this well i just need something basic like this i'm just going to do some vlogs some videos some uh some videos with the gimbal here and that's really about it i'm not going to use it for much more so for me this is ideal now there were two that i looked at this particular one has a range of about 300 meters i think but a short fairly short battery life but it's still fairly long it's a good few hours i think i'll put the specs up here in a minute and the other one i looked at had a longer battery life but a shorter range so for me it's more important i thought to have the longer range and the shorter battery life was no big deal because I'm not someone who's going to go out and do lots and lots of really long videos. Uh, I'm, going to go, I'm not going to go out for hours on end filming. So for me, the battery life was good enough. And even then I can still take a portable charger because you just simply plug uh, a portable charger into the USB port in the side here and you can charge, you charge the device here. So, you know, it's ideal and it works a treat so when i go back up the hill and i walk a bit faster now and you can see that it's still nice and smooth there's no juddering when i had the microphone on uh, the big microphone on the side before uh, the gimbal started to judder a bit because it got imbalanced and there was too much weight because i was getting those little yellow warning signals up the side so it really really is a much better solution like all devices it comes with a little charging cable and it comes with this little bag so you can keep it all in one of the other ones comes with a, a hard case which is also quite handy i think you know to keep to protect it now you know it's pretty flimsy so you certainly wouldn't want to drop it a lot uh, in, in that respect if you're going to be someone who's going out into the into the bush you know, uh, it's going to be a hard life, going to give it a hard life and there's chances that you may drop it, or tread on it and God knows what. It may not last you that long. So it's not, I get the feeling it's not that strong. But if you're going to, like me, just use it on occasions and you're very careful with it and, and could last a very long time. Now, prior to getting this wireless microphone, and one of the reasons I, I wanted to get this wireless microphone was because before I had this Rode microphone here, the one with the dead cat on. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic microphone, without doubt, but these kinds of microphones are directional. And the problem is, when using these, it's great when you're facing the camera and you're quite close and you're talking away. But the moment you turn to sort of point and talk about things away and you're not actually facing the camera the audio becomes very quiet and if you're in a noisy I'm in a quiet environment now so you can probably hear me quite well but if you're in a noisier environment then the moment I've turned away it's not very clear but when I turn back and face the camera obviously my voice is much louder so you get uh, audio imbalances and sometimes when you turn away in a really noisy area you can't even hear me at all and the problem was when I was filming my photography vlogs and I would obviously want to turn away and talk about things and point about point into the scene and talk about uh, things that I'm photographing or uh, elements within my scene. And I'd always have to remember to try to talk like this and point like this. And it was just really awkward, you know? So I wanted to get the wireless one so I wouldn't have this problem. So I could just turn away like this, talk and talk and talk and talk and you would hear me now you're listening to me on the the wireless through my gimbal and you know you would be, i would be able to talk and talk and talk and you could hear me perfectly we wouldn't have any worries about audio imbalance and i wouldn't have this hassle in editing trying to lift the volume in certain areas where i turn away put the volume back down again when i turn back oh you know just more time editing and the less time you can have editing uh, well <laughs> speaks for itself really doesn't it so that's another reason why i wanted to get this wireless microphone okay so let's see 
how reliable this is actually and and the range as well because I haven't actually really tested this yet I only got it a little while ago and I used it once down uh, by the river for a vlog and in the whole time it was pretty clear but there was one part where the the audio was kind of interrupted a bit and it wasn't too good but it was in a section that I could edit out so now I'm going to take a walk down this way now the great thing is as I say I'm walking away now and hopefully you can still hear me I'm still talking away and the good thing is that the idea of this is that I can stop and I can talk and point things out talk about the perhaps in my photography vlogs in my photography vlogs com uh, compositions and things that I'm trying to include in my composition and the great thing is that I can walk down and point things out and you'll still be able to hear me and now I can just walk and walk and walk out I'm going to go around the corner now I'm going to go out the video Uh, if you want super quality and reliability of course you're gonna be better off going and spending 200 pounds on this super road microphone which I wish I had the money to do that but for me I'm hoping that this will be good enough now I'm definitely not going to be someone who's going to go wandering off uh, miles and miles away from my camera while I'm filming the vast majority of the things I'm going to do are going to be standing next to my camera uh, you'll be watching what I'm doing with the camera I won't be going too far away but I want to be able to move a little bit turn around face away from the camera and not have to worry about you not hearing me and that is the reason I bought this wireless microphone so <laughs> now I've watched that video back like you've just seen as well obviously I got down to that big tree there and everything was nice and clear um, but then when I got around the corner it started to break up and then obviously you lost me completely and when I was around the corner you couldn't hear anything but as I started to walk back even before I came into view the audio came back again and then it was pretty clear all the way up to here now as I say this is just the first test so um, you know there are some issues it is cheap so you do get what you pay for of course um, but certainly if I have the ability to walk down around this way turn around talk about things and air, my audio is still super clear for me this is good enough but of course if you're looking for something more if you're looking for reliability if you're looking to go up way off way away from the camera and do all sorts of other things and still have clear audio you might want to consider getting the Rode wireless microphone kit which is around 200 pounds so I'll put links to all of that down in the description on the Amazon website I'll put a link to the one I've got a link to the other one I was considering too and a link to this road one that I've been talking about and I hope you found this useful and thanks as always for watching and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and check out some of my other videos and catch you later